Hello everyone, Ronis with yet another tutorial and in this tutorial today I want to show you guys how to dodge and burn by just drawing lines in Photoshop. This is going to be the most simplest way of how to dodge and burn in Photoshop using just drawing lines and using the curves adjustment layers in just Photoshop. So you won't, you won't be able to find this tutorial anywhere just on YouTube or just anywhere. So this is maybe the first of its kind and you're going to be learning this wonderful process and before you can go ahead Let's first of all credit the owner of this image and this image was taken by Encourage Photograph and was part of his skin retouching challenge of recent and I'm going to put his Instagram in the description of this video or the link to his Instagram in the description of this video. So there are so many ways of dodging and burning. We have two ways. The first way is the global dodging and burning and the second way is the macro or the one they use for skin retouching. So for this tutorial, we're going to be learning about the global dodging and burning. So under the global dodging and burning, we have enhancing the highlights and the shadows and bring that three-dimensional look to your images or your portraits. So this is the tutorial we are going to be uh, learning and we are going to be understanding the easiest way of how to do your global dodging and burning in just uh, Photoshop. So let's uh, before I can proceed, let me first of all plug in this because so we are going to be learning about the amazing dodging and burning by just drawing lines in Photoshop. So let's kick in and we start uh, learning about that wonderful process. So you know what to do, subscribe, like this video, drop a comment in the comment section if I told you find this really helpful in the future. So first of all, this is the image we are working with and now uh, what you are going to be doing, we are going to First of all, learn about that. So let's uh, zoom in uh, to get the image uh, looking quite right. So this is what you're going to be working with. So under, under the global dodging and burning, we'll be enhancing the highlights and the shadows in the image. So we want to enhance that because usually for us that use frequent separation, most of the times it tends to flatten out the image and we lose out on the beautiful dimension in the given image. So let's kick in and we do that quick. So we're going to come right under here and we're going to come under the curves adjustment layer. So come under curves and click on curves. So first of all, we want to uh, brighten. So remember when we are dodging, we'll be brightening specific areas in the image. But this time around, you're going to first of all create that. Then you're going to come right here under the midpoint. So you have the shadows right here. The mid tones right here and you're going uh, we have the highlights right here so you're going to come under the mid tones and make a midpoint then you're going to brighten this image all the way like that until the highlights are tend to be over bright or the image looks really overexposed then after doing so we're going to come and we're going to close this right here so we're going to make sure this white mask is selected and we're going to hide this effect from this very image yeah we're going to hide it so we're going to be revealing that by drawing just lines so make sure this mask right here is selected and come right here and hit ctrl i or command i on the keyboard so press command i or ctrl i for pc to invert this mask so i'm going to hit command i because i use mac so i think that is hidden so remember we have just brightened the overall image and remember brightening means dodging so you can name uh, this dodge yeah like that dodge or you can name it a uh, bright yeah brighten i don't know okay brighten so that is brightening then you're going to come right back to the curves and you're going to select the curves and this time around we're going to do the real opposite of what we have just done so we're going to come right here make a midpoint and you're going to darken the image like that yeah like that so we have just darkened the image so don't worry if at all your image is looking really underexposed don't worry because we're going to be sorting that really quick so after doing so close this by clicking on these arrow icons and make sure this white mask is selected and you're going to hide uh, that effect by hitting ctrl or command i on the keyboard so Hit Ctrl I for PC or Command I for Mac to hide that effect. And you're going to name this 
a burn or some people call it uh, darken. So basically, that is what dodging and burning is all about. So we are going to be enhancing the highlights and the shadows in this very image. So as you can see, we are going to first of all come under these little swatches right here, these boxes. And we are going to uh, reset them by clicking on these two because we, want, we only want uh, white and black because we are going to be referencing or coming back to these uh, swatches uh, right in the future so make sure you get white on the foreground so make sure white is on top and after you have done so we are just going to come right here you can see we have white on top so we are going first of all come to under the dodge or brighten layer so make sure you select the mask like that then come under right here you select a brush tool so this is the ordinary brush tool Make sure the opacity and the flow are at 100%. So after you have selected it, make sure the smoothening is also at 0%. So this is more of the ordinary brush tool. So make sure it is uh, a soft round brush. So come under a dodge, make sure this mask is selected. So look for all those areas that have brightness or the highlights in the image. So we are just going to be drawing lines on those very areas. And those lines are going to be emphasized uh, when we do the dodging on this very image. So we are going, first of all, we have a highlight right here. So we're just going to come. You can increase on your brush by, uh, brush by using uh, the left and the right bracket. So we have a highlight right there. You can see I'm basically just drawing lines. We have a highlight there. We have one right here. Then we come on the nose, we have uh, this beautiful highlight. Then we have a highlight right here. Then we have one right here. So you can look for all those areas that uh, seem to have highlights. So you can come right here and just emphasize those highlights. Yeah, by just drawing lines. So make sure the overall image is really worked on. So I'm going to zoom in this image because I want to emphasize uh, this highlight right here, right uh, below the nose or beneath, like that. So I'm just going to draw that. You can as well come and emphasize this highlight on the lip area. So I, I think uh, that uh, looks uh, okay. So we have just drawn lines on the areas we want to emphasize that have the highlights and the areas we really want to a dodge so you can as well come and just emphasize there too so what you are going to be doing make sure this uh, mask is selected so after it is selected you can come right here come under window like that and look for properties so this is where the magic is basically going to happen or take place so we are going to come under the feather make sure the density is at 100 percent come under feather and start moving this like that so you won't be seeing the effect uh, straight away but you're going to be seeing it right now so you're just going to move as you can see it is starting uh, to lose out or disappear and it is really getting to brighten those areas we wanted to do the brighten brightening onto so this uh, really looks weird to me so i'm just continue uh, feathering like that yeah just continue feathering. I think this uh, looks okay to me. So I can see it is also affecting colors in a particular way or one way or the other. So I'm just going to close this properties and I'm going to change the blending mode from normal and I'm going to uh, look for uh, luminosity so that uh, the colors in the image are not affected. So you can see this is the before, after, before, after. You can see we have just brightened uh, the bright areas in the image and if at all you feel that is too much for your liking you can just come and under the opacity and reduce on the op opacity of that effect in that particular area i think which i'll go with around 76 so you can see the before after before after so right now you're going to be working with the dark parts in the image or the shadows in the image and for that case the term for that is are burning remember we burn to enhance the shadows in the image so I'm, we are going to come right here under the burn layer like that and after it is selected or 
this uh, black mask is selected, you are going to look for, remember what we did for the dodging, uh, we drew lines on the bright areas, but for the darkening or for the burning, we are going to draw lines on the opposite, that is drawing those lines on the shadow areas, so you're just going to come and you're going to draw lines on those uh, shadow areas like that. So basically we're just drawing lines. So you can come and so you can you can see those areas like that. Just come and draw lines according to uh, the shape of the shadows like that. I think uh, that looks okay to me. So we are just basically going to look for the areas that have shadows in this image. So you can zoom out by hitting command plus or command minus to zoom in or zoom out on the image. So we're just going to enhance those areas that have uh, shadows by just drawing uh, lines on those areas. I think uh, that is okay for this image. So we're just going to enhance there. So after we have drawn those lines, we are now going to do the magic and you know that, right? We are going to come right back to window. Then we are going to come under the properties of uh, these lines and we are just going to increase the feathering like that until uh, it is really looking nice. So I think at around 127, uh, we are getting those beautiful shadows. So let's uh, reduce that slightly. So when I turn this on and off, you can see what we have just enhanced. Uh, we have just enhanced this image uh, to have those beautiful shadows. And uh, the image is really getting to have those three-dimensional kind of uh, look or the 3D kind of look in the image. And if at all you feel that is too much for your liking, you can just come and reduce on the opacity of the effect on that particular area or of the burn area like that. You can see the before and after. Uh, the image uh, is really looking nice and it has shape and dimension and it is not looking flat. Then one thing I forgot to share with you guys, if at all you feel like you painted or applied the effect on an area you don't want uh, it to be applied onto, just get your brush tool so since this is a black mask, we want to eliminate uh, the effect on that particular area. So we're just going to make sure black is on top like this. And you can get your brush and just erase uh, the e effect from a particular area. So like that. You can see what I've just done on that particular area. Sorry. You can see what I've just done. So you can just eliminate. So I'm just going to hit Command Z to undo that. So you can see the before and after. So let me put all these two in a group so that you can see what we have just done for our dodging and burning of this very image by just drawing lines in Photoshop. So I'm going to hit Command and I'm going to select both layers. Then hit Command G to put these two in a group or Command or Control G. Control G for Windows and Command G for Mac users. So I'm going to hit Command G put this two in a group then I'm going to name this uh, dodge and burn so dodge and burn like that so after I've done so uh, you can see what we have just done for the dodging and burning so that's the image before after before after I hope you guys really love uh, this uh, three dimension kind of uh, look on this very image and if at all you feel like you want to double the effect of a particular layer, you can just select the layer and hit Command J or Control J to double the effect of uh, that particular layer. But I don't feel like we should be doubling the effect of this. So I'm just going to undo that by hitting Command Z on the keyboard or Control Z to undo that. So basically, uh, this is what we do for the dodging and burning by just drawing lines in Photoshop. So this is going to be the easiest way you're going to find right on YouTube or anywhere. So you can just draw lines to bring back shape or dimension onto your images in Photoshop. And if at all you love this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to like this video, drop a comment in the comment section. And don't forget to keep on practicing and don't forget to keep creating. 
I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet another tutorial on this channel and don't forget to keep safe.